Hey everyone, welcome to the new monthly project. Uh, this is number nine, and the theme was Art Revamp, where you find something old and you make it new again. You kind of uh, give it a refreshing look. And I think this is a fun idea, and it's just something new that we can kind of play with and get creative. So here are all the submissions for this month. We got so many. Look at all that art. <laughs> that is awesome to see. There's so many cool submissions. And uh, yeah, we had a competition going this month, so... This is something that I'm going to do every month from now on. And I think it's a really good chance for people to get a critique done that might not be able to get into the, the higher tier there on my Patreon. So, and this month's winner of a free critique is Jordan. Like, check this one out. I really like this art. So, um, he did an amazing job. He really uh, made an entire full piece kind of poster. Um, I just think it was executed really well. And um, I've noticed he's been trying really hard, you know, the last few months as well. I've just been really enjoying and following everything he's done. So, and you've got a lot of talent, Jordan. I just think that's, I just think it's well deserved. So, uh, congratulations. And I think that's awesome. Can't wait to dive into the critique. So, let's get straight into all of the submissions. We're going to start with Aaron. So, here's Aaron's submission. He did a Power Ranger. Um, this is the green Power Ranger. This is good because my sons are currently at that age where they really love Power Rangers and, and I personally have been loving just re-watching them all. I really enjoy it. And um, the green Power Ranger has been one of my favorites recently. I just love that storyline. Um, and this is cool. You've done a, uh, a revamp of the green Power Ranger. You kind of, you know, did your own take on it. So it's kind of like a revamp of this classic one in a kind of yeah today modern age kind of look and yeah this looks really cool i like it you've done a good job i especially like the uh the helmet design that's really cool it's quite different really um you know you've got the gold through there and everything like that so this looks really awesome and i yeah i just think the design is really nice so yeah well done i like that one next up is bart and uh you've done a highlander piece check this out it looks like a full setup now this this is amazing i think this is awesome because not only do you have, like, you know, the main dude, you've done an entire poster. You've got these faces in the back. It's like a... You've done a really nice job. Look at that rendering and the uh, the details, all that stuff. So, that's it's really nice to see. A lot of nice details. And overall colours as well. So, here's your references that you've... Uh, that you had, you know, and you've kind of done your own spin on it in, uh, in your own take, in your own style. It's always nice to see the old references too. So, yeah, really nice work there, Bart. Awesome. You were a very close contender for the uh, for the critique as well, for the free critique. Uh, next up, we've got Douglas. And here we go. You've done uh, Dino Sources. This is cool. I don't think I've heard of this um, show, or is it a show? I'm not quite sure, but I really like the look of it. I would have loved this as a kid, I reckon, because I was a big dinosaur fan. Um, yeah, this is great. So you've taken this kind of piece, and you've done your own uh, modernized version. Look, look, you've like enhanced those details massively. If you just compare it, so you look at that, you know, they're basically flat colors. Um, and you're, you've are you got this really nice rendering going on. Look, you could just zoom right in. It just keeps coming. That's amazing. Really sleek, really nice. So um, that, that, is, that is an awesome job. <laughs> unreal. Amazing stuff. Thanks for your submission. That's unreal. Oh, check this out. This is Jordan. Jordan Beatty. So uh, you've done a revamp of this cover. So this is an old, uh, old Spider-Man cover, uh, a classic, very iconic. And um, yeah, look at that. That's awesome. And I remember that. And you've done this. Check it out. This is like a modernized version. Um, really well done. I really like the uh, overall, the finished look of this. I mean, check out your rendering as well. And those details. I really like that Spider-Man suit that just has heaps and heaps of the webbing. I actually really like that look. Um, I think that's quite, that's really cool. And you don't see a lot of it these days either. And your carnage is unreal. Look at that. Look at all that detail and all those black strands and things like that. So this is a really, um, yeah, really good job on this one. So you should be very proud of yourself with that one. I love that, Jordan. Thanks. Uh, next up is Matt's. And you've done a Robin Hood uh, revamp of that cover that from from that movie. That's a fun, I love that movie too. Um, and yeah, you've you've done it. Look at this. That looks really good. You've done a good job. And um, yeah, I remember seeing you in Discord with this one, and you've just 
you've just really taken off. I like that. And you said you're quite new to art as well, if I remember right. And this is really good for someone who's so new to it. So you should be uh, you should be really proud of yourself as well. I think this is this is an awesome job. So next up is Paul, and he's done a redo of this. Uh, so this is from an old uh, poster, I think, from 1980 here called Android. And you've done a revamp of this, and you've got a lot of really nice details going on in here as well. So look at the comparison. So you've got this guy. Yeah, his arm's been broken off, which is really cool. And um, yeah, really nice job. Good good, um, good job on all those smoke effects too, this backdrop and everything. It looks really nice. And you've done the guy in like a more modernized kind of military outfit. You've even got like a Punisher shirt on him, which is cool. And, uh, you know, the grenades and the belt and thing like that, uh, things like that. So, um, you know, and this guy's very 80s. And one thing I really like about this piece, which I think really tops it off, is that edge lighting. You've done a really nice job of that. And it's really helping these characters pop out. So, yeah, you've, you've done a, a new take on it. I love that. Good job. That's awesome. Uh, next up, we've got Daniel. And you've done a, a redo of an old, uh, the Golden Age comics. I don't know, I think it's maybe earlier than the Golden Age. Um, this is a Superman, one of the first Superman uh, comic covers, I think, 1938. So that's a real, that's really old school. And yeah, you've done a retake of it. So you've got uh, the new guy. Is that from the new show? I think it is because he's got that black S. I think he's from the new show or something. But you've got like a modern car in this one. And uh, and you've got, yeah, and he's, he's like a business guy from today and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, that's really nice to see. It's a, it's a nice retake, revamp. So nice work on that, Daniel. That's like a full, full cover you've done there. So that's really good. Nice work. All right, next up is Cy. Here we go. This is awesome. Look at this. So you've got uh, the Mac, and he's done... So that's the original there. That's the original kind of poster from uh, 1973. So that's the original. And then you've done a retake, 2021. Look at this. Look at that. I really like this. Really well-drawn face there. Nice, really nice art style. That is awesome. And, uh, yeah, you've got a modern car. This is like a today kind of thing. You know, it's all revamped and fresh um yeah really awesome this is great i like the layout and the uh and the way you've just structured all this yeah it looks like a real poster so awesome work i love that uh next up is william here we go look oh, indiana jones i love indiana jones that's like one of my favorites especially uh yeah as a kid there's the nostalgia is uh strong in this one so <laughs> i love that look at this it's so crisp and clean. That's a really, really nice looking um, Indiana Jones there. So love your work, William. This is great. Look at the detail. You just zoom in. He's got really nice, really nice face. I really like that face. Um, and you've killed it. This is unreal. It's definitely a uh, like a fresh take. This looks like it could be a, a like a new comic cover, you know, or, or an anime even. Like it looks like a cover to a new Indiana Jones anime, something like that. So it definitely gives me a kind of fresh vibe, you know, like a redo, retake. Really nice work, William. That's unreal. I love seeing your stuff. So I like the way it all comes together too. This this whip really makes your eye just kind of flow around the image. So um, yeah, unreal. I love that. Next up is Jay and he's done gorillas. I love gorillas. And this... Do you know, when I was a kid, I was really inspired by their art style, and I, I was just blown away by their film clips as well. Um, and I love the gorillas; I just love that style. So, um, and you've done a retake; you've done your own style. And do you know what I really like about this is because you've you've kept the age. You know, they because that's one thing that the gorillas do. If you're not familiar with the band, they have their animated characters. And in the, all of their film clips through the years, because they've had film clips coming out for like 20 years, they make sure that their animated characters age as well, along with the years. So the little girl, for instance, she's only really young there. She's the youngest one. And she's always been like a little kid. But here you've made her what she's supposed to look like today, 20 years later. And um, yeah, she's, uh, she's and, and this guy here as well, I think it's Murdoch, I think that's his name. You know, he's definitely aged up as well. He's got them bags under his eyes and stuff. Yeah, this is great. So awesome work, and it's it's been done really well as well. Lots of nice details there, and you've you've uh, I can see their style. I've got he's got sticking up the finger there too. So yeah, that's that's great. Awesome stuff. I really like that. Well done. 
Okay, time to dive into the critiques now. And uh, we'll start with Jordan. This is the winner who, who um, was picked. So let's get into it. And I really like this. This is awesome. So Starship Troopers, one of the really... I love that movie. Such a cool movie. Alien war zone kind of movie, sci-fi, it's unreal. And uh, yeah, look at this artwork. That is so detailed. I really like that monster. You've done a good job of um, putting all that together. Even the foreshortening, you've got, really got this leg right up there in our grill, like right up in our face, all of this. You can see the bullet holes and the green blood, everything. It looks awesome. And he's really owning that too. He's just, he's just um, you know, stomping on it, doing that classic stomp kind of pose on there. And he's got the flag. So, yeah, this is unreal. I love it. Now, let's have a look and see what we can do to improve this. Okay, so I'm just going to fade that back a little bit. Um, a couple of things that I'm just noticing is uh, it's mainly just anatomy stuff. So, But just underneath, like the, the way he's kind of structured, I can tell it's just a little, just a little off. Let's, let's have a look. So, um, you know, if you had your body up here... So I'm just structuring this out just to help, but um, I just thought I'd mention down here. Um, I think the main part about this bicep and arm that's bothering me a little bit, it's just around this section here that's like really dark, um, and then this is too prominent. This The light in this is too prominent, um, and this shoulder is too uh, tucked and hidden, and this, this isn't correct there. So we're just going to, what I'll show you, I'm just redoing it. I've got, I've got that tricep coming down around here, which is fine. And then we actually have to have like the muscle of like a forearm muscle that's kind of coming around and it'll just kind of fade off in there. You kind of have it like that. Just think of it like this, that it dips in because the tricep will duck in. But then you've got the other one, it'll, it'll almost mimic the other side of it. It's like, do you know what I mean? So if I have, um, let's do it like this. So if I have just a, like a tube, right? So that's the bicep and the tricep arm. That's just the arm, right? But then on the inside, I like to think of it like this. So it's like that and then that. Kind of like an hourglass. You know what I mean? So the bicep comes in and it wraps kind of like that. You know, obviously this is the shoulder part there. Um, but yeah, underneath you have that little nick. They're a little bit smaller, but underneath there, underneath is the tricep. So it'll come out like this, but it's probably going to dip in more like that. And then that forearm part there, so it'll kind of come in and then you'll have your actual forearm coming off the arm. And that's kind of what I'm trying to do here. So you have that kind of hourglass like pointing, they all, they all point in. So that triceps there and that, yeah. And then you'll have the, the fold of the forearm here. So I can actually tuck that up a little bit closer to the bicep there. It's too much of a gap. So bring that in and then you can put a little bit of meat on the other side of that there. Now you can show that elbow if you want to. Um, it's kind of more of a side bone of the arm, but then there's your forearm there coming around. So that's good. I, I don't mind that perspective of that arm. I was, I was kind of nearly going to say, let's bring the fist up to here and have the arm kind of bend up more. Uh, which would kind of look cool and it'd probably be a bit more of a striking kind of, you know, how you, as if you're flexing your muscles kind of thing. But I think that's fine having it come right at us. I think that's cool. Um, okay, so what I wanted to say about this was let's just hide these. So I'll just show you. So that's without. So with, with this kind of body structure, now that I've put the muscles underneath or the actual body, you can kind of see where it's not working on the original. So it's it's kind of like... There's the, you need to see where the chest would connect and add to the shoulder. And then the shoulder needs more room. So you actually need more room here around the shoulder. And then, the, you know, there's that chest. But if you look over here on this side, so there's no shoulder at all there. It's kind of like you've got the armor there, which is kind of hiding that, you know, so that it's not making it obvious. But the bicep here, if you look where it connects, it's, it needs to connect it lower. So your bicep needs to connect much lower because at the moment it kind of looks like it is the shoulder or it's like going up and that's where the shoulder needs to belong. It's like halfway in between. So yours needs to go drop lower and then you have to have the shoulder up showing above. So then you would actually have your armor 
kind of like here somewhere your armor which should be lifting off the body about there and that's where the clothes and the the bag and stuff would would come off there so everything needs to be a bit thicker off the mu actual muscles and another thing is just this hand as well it's not placed right and it's probably a bit too big so what we would do is to fix that we'd actually have to try and get the arm as if it's pointing down more so if that arm was originally more like kind of supposed to read like that and then if I place it with my original there I'll just, so with my original and the bicep I had I think was here like that and then the shoulder kind of thing so that's kind of how it needs to read uh, and the way you would do it is basically just twist your hand so you need to twist it a bit more that way so that the palm is then out so like this so you need to kind of just put the, the twist the arm a little bit more out that way so then there's the knuckles and it will just read a little bit better and that'll and maybe you could even point the gun up a little bit more if you wanted to I think that would really help your picture actually to have the gun uh, about there and I think that would probably yeah it would probably hold the piece uh, together a little bit more just a nice balance a little bit more of that angle now the other thing I mentioned that I wanted to show you just with the red here so if you just look at the leg um, there's just not really that much muscle here you need more meat on the top and a bit a bit more of an arch you see how I've got mine kind of you see that see how I've got that kind of the arch and a little bit more meat there so that's all that needs just a bit more there your legs fine I'm not going to touch that I'd probably with that foot there though um, kind of looks like it just keeps going kind of looks like it keeps going there so if you just had a little nick about there basically I just wanted to try and say you know draw that front front of that boot there so that it doesn't look like it continues off um, but yeah the rest is really good so basically what I'm trying to say is just just try and just draw your body rough like when you're first laying out your piece draw the actual I, I always start with the actual body and the anatomy of the person underneath without clothes so don't draw any clothes uh, first draw muscles and body and everything first and then build on that um, and then you'll have no problems at all so you just build on all your armor after that like this and just keep just keep adding to it so I'm layering over everything and then I'll just you know I'm going to rem remove uh, those muscle tones now because we don't need them you know that kind of thing uh, and just do it like that now this neck muscle here uh, everything will connect in dead center right here so it'll actually bend like that and it's, it's connecting in the middle but this other band that connects and goes around like that and then yeah you've got your you got your chin there that's cool yeah I'd probably just put a little bit more of a shadow under the chin there and to show that and you'll be all right your original was close it's just um, it just needed to be over a little bit more and kind of showing that it's connecting and then you get that nice feel of a twist like his neck is really twisting around now another thing just with the face you've got to, it's, it's a good face as it is a good face um, I think that we need to probably have the teeth you need to better see the teeth uh, like this kind of thing and then underneath and then around that that kind of thing and then just start adding all the the little details to them as they go kind of thing uh, because yours at the moment is just a little bit too flat so yours is kind of a bit too like that and then like that if we just had that arch it'll really show that that skull is added to it you know what I mean so if we just turn those around you'll be okay and have them back teeth kind of coming down a bit more so you can actually have them about there and think of that skull underneath really think of that skull and that's going to help you a lot I'd probably lower this bottom jaw down a little bit more so I'd probably have it down it's a little harder to see with the red but yeah I'd lower it down a little bit more and probably not tuck that lip over so much I think it's it's okay but it's it's um a, a little distracting when it's that that lip there is just a little too intense but it gives it a good cartoony edge I'd probably also um, just with this nose get the nostrils and point them up so point them upwards and then tuck that down but basically with the nose you want to treat it more like this so it's like get that nostril up and the other nostril on the other side and then you want to have the ball of that nose out more 
and then tuck off, tuck up the the bridge of the nose there. And that that bridge of the nose, you don't have it like that. You just start drawing around it and refining it. Or however you're going to do it depends what kind of nose they've got and then you can start fading deleting those parts that aren't needed i just think that'd be a better way to go you can have the the middle part that joins down to the lip kind of like this so i'm going to draw a little guide and show you how i like to do it so that kind of thing like because at the moment yours was just let me just hide that yours is just kind of pointing down a little bit more and it's kind of diving down too much you've got to think of that angle and yeah, when it comes to coloring, um, yeah, I just think this is a bit too dark in here. So it'd probably benefit more if it was kind of this tone. And I'll just show you how, same with just, just fading a few bits back so they're not so intense, all those, the strong muscles and stuff. I'll just show you before and after just that little quick render. So that's before with your arm and that's after. So just, I just feel like it was too dense and dark in this area. Um, and it just it just throws it off a bit so if I just soften that up and we just give a hint of that muscle that's under the bicep there and no nah, I hope that helps a bit there um, I'd also probably just do it with the pants I'd probably see these black lines you got on there um, I'd probably even fade either fade them off or back um, so that the outlines aren't black a couple of fades there so that's what it was before just look at the pants and the bicep there so that's before and after so just just a couple of things uh, when it comes to coloring as well but overall really damn good job I reckon and just to top it off I would probably also do some just some heavier outlines around the outside of your uh, your work so you know whether it's just like this you know just really hold it all together a little bit more they're just a little thin on the outside um, and again this is just a design choice this is just that's my style that I usually do I like to have it all held together a little bit more so you see just they're a little bit thin up the leg there on the outside so if you just made them just that little bit thicker your overall picture is going to look awesome even even way better so you know really hold it all together so I'll show you just on that leg you'll get an idea um, so before that's what it was before a little bit thin on the outside there and then after so you can see but that's great Jordan I think you've done an awesome job on this anyway and um Everything is really good. Like your overall piece is amazing. So you should be really proud of yourself on that. And um, yeah, really my only comment is probably just think of, just sketch up your body underneath first. So get that, you know, all sorted and um, make sure that the anatomy is all there first and then build, just throw some clothes on top of that, add that later. Um, yeah, and that's, that's really, that's all you really need for this one today. I think that's really good. I love the overall execution of this. I think you've done a great job. He's popping. You've got that smoke behind him and the flames. Um, so really, you, your character is coming out and it's it's seen. You know, you could, you could see this from a mile away and it's still a very attractive poster. So, um, yeah, that's awesome. Great work on that one, mate. And I hope my critique helped. I hope that helps you in some way. Okay, Apex Arts is next. And, uh, yeah, this is sick. Look at this. He's done Daredevil. So we've got the old, uh, the Daredevil movie poster here with the Ben Affleck from the Ben Affleck one. And you've redone it with the new Daredevil guy. So um, I'm sorry, I should have, I should know his name by now. He's been a Marvel fan and all. But um, the actor, you know, and you've done the new, the, from the show, which is brilliant, by the way. I absolutely love that show. Um, so yeah, this is, this is really good. I like the, the pose. You've, it's really striking, trying to match that same look. Um, I think that's brilliant awesome stuff let's get into a critique now i love seeing these wraps like actually wrapping around the arm they look great that looks awesome um one of the first things i would do which i i think would work really well um <clears throat> is probably just fix the perspective i'd like I, I feel like he's too straight on and he's too he's, he's just too straight on with us so i'm gonna fix it to match this one you see how he's got a, the perspective is looking from the ground up it's way more intimidating um, we need more perspective. So in yours, it's just a bit too straight. Let me show, what I, show you what I mean. Okay, so I've just made the adjustments. Um, took a little bit, sorry. And... 
there we go. I've so that's before you can see it's a bit more front on, but with the perspective. Now the last bit we have to do is this. So I'm I'm really going to rise this up just like the one in the in the in the thing. So probably like that, um, something like that. I reckon maybe a little bit lower, maybe just about there. I reckon. And you will just also make it a lot darker as well. So basically, I'm going to darken it really like silhouette it nearly um and i might do like a little bit of an edge lighting on it so there we go so yeah i think that's a lot better with the um the thing the the building pointing up a bit higher so that's the original let me just zoom out a little bit show you again so original and then now so the perspective would have been like it just it, it'll help a lot more if that was more intense the perspective it just really dramatically changes the the image completely and now he's more way more intimidating um the last thing that i'll do on on those adjustments is this i'm going to go into liquify I'm, i just need to fix a couple of things so because now that he's got that different perspective his body is going to be in a different at a different angle like certain body parts you know There we go, that's better. So uh, that was before the liquify. So now I've adjusted him. So see how the different, how the body's moved. It's like different now and it works with the perspective. So that's kind of what I was going for. Just so his chest is up a bit more. See that's, that's before the positioning. Now he's up. The mask was one of the main ones. So if you look before the mask is kind of look like it's pulled down on this side of his face too much. So now I've lifted it up with the perspective and it's down. So um, this arm was down too low and I've put it back up. So it just fits with the perspective now. And uh, what I'm going to do, one of the last cool things we can do to make this really, really work uh, is we really want to get a nice pop behind him. I mean, look at, look at this one here. He's almost a silhouette and it works really nicely. So... Let's get um, a really nice pop behind our guy here. What I'm going to do is like this. I'm actually going to lighten this up completely. Now, don't worry. It's not going to be like this. This is just for what I'm doing. Let me show you. And then contrast it right up. I want to make it look really cool because you've really done a cool piece here. I love it. I love this. Um, okay. Let me just bump the saturation up too. I want to get some nice saturation in there. Now I'm going to fade out the back. So fade out back to the original. So fade out some of those back bits there. I want to keep it nice and lit right in the middle as if he's got something going on behind him. I've set it to linear dodge, which is a, one of the effects there. Um, I really like that kind of warmer, warmer tone uh, clashing with the, the cooler stormy colors in the back. I think that looks really cool. Um, you know, that's probably pretty intense. So let's tone that down a bit. Now, the last thing that I want to do to your character is um, I want to actually do that edge lighting. Like, you've already got it, but it's really subtle. I'd love to have it nice and strong. So let me just do that. Kind of like, look at Daredevil here, that edge lighting. Perfect. That looks great there. So let's do that. I think the last thing that your character needs is just using the dodge tool. I'm just going to just highlight those, just some parts to make him kind of pop out a bit better. Just some of the parts that I feel like need, need a bit of a highlight just on the chest. I want that to come pop out a little bit better. Just trying to get a little bit of dimension. Um, there we go. So I think that'll do. That looks good. Uh, maybe I'll even use the, the uh, burn tool and we'll go on the other side and darken him off a bit more. Yeah, that's better. So I'm just darkening off that back leg and down the side there. So that can be a little bit more silhouetted on the other side. Not as much. Let me just fix it a bit. All right. And let's just try one more thing. I'm going to duplicate that little edge lighting. That's pretty intense, isn't it? It's light. Actually, I don't mind it when it's extra intense. But what we'll do is I'm going to blur it. So filter blur maybe gussian blur not so intense just a bit there we go yeah that looks nice and then i might just offset that blur just a little bit so it just comes over a bit more that seems better 
Um, so that's a cool effect. And I'll just take the opacity down about 60% on that blur, just so it's not so crazy. Um, all right. There we go, mate. Um, I reckon that's pretty cool. There you go. I reckon that's done. So, yeah, I just wanted to make, sh uh, just to show you, we the edge lighting really make them pop. Um, back lit, so light up the back. Um, that'll also lift them off, the, off it a bit more. Um, so I'll just show you the original. So that's what we started with here. So that was the first, the original, and then we got that now. So, um, and it matches the poster too. So yeah, the original there, I'll just zoom in. And so we've changed the perspective. So it's more intense perspective, more, uh, what do you call it? Imposing and like threatening or, or intimidating. I don't know, uh, or heroic even. Um, yeah, the angle and then the lighting. So I think that's, um, that's really what it, what it needed. Um, yeah, had a lot of fun with that one, actually. That was good. So I hope that helps, Apex. Um, yeah, I, th I think you're doing an awesome job. I love your work. So I really look forward to seeing it every time. And uh, yeah, yeah, I hope that gives you some tips. Um, don't, like, I think, I think the, uh, the main advice I could give is go bold. So um, don't, be, don't be afraid to push it and go these intense lights on the side. See what they're like. Um, really just try a couple of new things and you can always just disable the layer if you don't like it. So just try and push it further and further and then just go, go from there and just, just go with your gut. Next up is Deegan's artwork and check it out. We've got uh, Venom, Carnage. Um, yeah, Carnage versus Venom, sorry. And uh, yeah, this is the original cover here and I, I love this. I, I think this is amazing. And look what you've done, like a nice revamp of it. Got a fresh take. Um, and yeah, this is unreal. The details are so good. Like you've, you've really, and it's really crisp and clean. You've got this nice, fresh looking, uh, take on it. So it's a whole different style. So, uh, let's get into a critique for you. Now, a couple things, uh, I'll just show you. So I've just made a selection there. Uh, so most of it's just about dimension and depth. Um, at the moment it's, uh, it's a little flat and things are kind of meshing together. So if we just to give it depth, we're gonna what I'll do is I'm gonna black out a lot of those details in the chest. It doesn't have to be fully blacked out or whatever, but I'd probably do a little bit here and there. Maybe I'll take some off, you know, to give the idea that it's still yeah. So let me show you what I mean, and then I'm gonna get uh, the mid tones. I'm just gonna get the dodge tool. I want to lighten up that blue there of the the symbiote the symbiote venom stuff there so um that was just a quick one let me just show you what it was like before so that's the that's the original just before i started doing that and that's now just by doing those little edits now do you see the difference um so the the venom's blue goo is now way more visible also the neckline and, and all that's a lot more visible too so before it was just a little bit flat like the red and everything it's, it's just there's no dimensions so yeah, something like that anyway. See, that's before and after. So before and after. Just reads a bit better. Um, and you see like this thumb here, and that's kind of merging with Carnage's uh, body behind. So I would probably even do the same thing. Get get more black behind. This is It's just a trick that you can do. So just play around with more of that black goo behind the thumb. And it can really just help lift off that hand a little bit better. And then I'm just going to brighten up that. I might just brighten up that thumb a little bit more. And I think what your work would benefit from as well is uh, a bit of an edge lighting. So you do have a little one there, but it's too small. And I think yours is on the outlines. I would probably actually move it on the inside of the outlines. If I, I'll just show you what I mean. So I'm going to cover up your white ones that you've got there. And then we've got this nice shiny kind of red there. I might play around with that. So get this and make it quite thick and strong. This can be your edge lighting that's going to make everything pop. Watch, just check it out. I'll show you. Okay, so let me just show you. Uh, so before, things are just a bit lost. You see the thumb, everything's kind of merging with the thing. And then after, so now that that's blackened out behind the thumb, silhouetted out or whatever and it's now you've got that edge lighting you can really see that the thumb and the hand is there so it's it's giving it more dimension 
making things feel like they're lifting out a little bit more and kind of coming at you. So um, that's just a, a, a nicer approach to doing things. So the same thing, remember with this, this goo in the middle. Yeah, and stuff like that. Uh, Venom's mouth as well. I would definitely probably uh, just blacken that out. And, and I know that kind of sucks, but because you did a lot of nice details on the inside, but it'll read a lot better. I was, something like that, you know, and it's just a bit more easier to look at. And I would also lighten up that tongue. So really lighten it up. There you go, something like that. So see the tongue, so before it was just a bit too dark and red. So now it's just like a nicer tongue color, like the pink, like a nice, a, a lighter pinkish kind of tone. Same as the gums, you kind of tongue would match the gum kind of color. Um, so I think that's a lot better. Now your drawings are really good. I don't really have anything to say about the drawings um, apart from probably just that uh, the the black outlines. It's good. Like the the sketchy black outline look, uh, look is good, but I'd probably fade them back just a bit so they're not so in, an intense strong kind of black color. See that? So maybe about there even something like that. Even with the especially with the ones that are like the coming off the side there it's just more appealing to fade them off a bit blend them with your skin tone a bit more just thin them out and have them as finer details for the face so not so thick any uh, the thicker outlines are, are mainly used for the outs out outside of the character to hold them together and to make them pop a bit more so anything on the inside is much finer you should do it much finer so I'll just show you without just those changes. So on the face, so that's without and then with. So without and with, and it's just softened it out a little bit more, made it look a bit more appealing, yeah. So yeah, I hope that helps. I think that's really all it needed. Um, the drawing is great, I love it. I think, um, let me just try something. I think the only other, only other thing that it needs is if you just flatten the overall thing and I wanna make it pop out more so I've got the dodge tool I'm going to set it to highlights let me just see what happens if I just go over your picture and start lightening up areas like especially Eddie Brock's face here I think it's Eddie Brock and I'm just going to go overall with the dodge tool the soft brush and I just want to lighten it up so especially his nose here I just feel like that needs to be lightened all right so I've done the polishing now that's the overall polishing look so that was what it was just before I did the polishing and that's now I'm talking about the dodge tool so just before I lightened it up a little bit more just to get that last little pop that oomph that it needed um, so all right let's let's have a look at it before and after real quick so before I touched anything you can see it was just there was not much dimension you can the the venom head especially is kind of getting lost in all the details and outlines so it needed to have that oomph so by blackening out the inside of the mouth now you see the teeth a lot clearer uh, you see the tongue is lightened now and it looks you can see that quite clear as well and the blue is bouncing off the red a bit better so before it was just a bit darkened and then after and I've darkened Carnage's chest to near black underneath so you get the blue stretchy stuff highlighted more and yeah so let's zoom in a little bit and do that again before and after yeah so I reckon that's all it needed and those edge lighting so if you play around with a bit more edge lighting you can really make the character yeah pop out a little bit more um, and it's just a nice finisher as well so this is an awesome piece though I reckon you've done an amazing job so yeah thanks Deegan that's unreal and I love your work keep it up can't wait to see some more next is Jason and you've done Adam Warlock so I'm not familiar with this character but um, I like that drawing. So this is an old school kind of character. Um, yeah, Claudio uh, Castellini has done uh, Adam Warlock. That that's what must be one of his comic characters or something. So um, awesome art style too. And yeah, you've done it here. So you've done your own version of it. And uh, you've got the Infinity Gauntlet. And you've got these planets around as well on the outside. So um, yeah, awesome. Let's dive into a critique for it. Now... Um, You've done a really good drawing, but I think a lot of the problems are with the anatomy, and um, and it's it's also the line execution as well. So the the outlines that you've got, um, they come, you know, you're doing the right thing in the way of uh, line weight and things like that, but 
It's just the the way that they come across. So uh, it's all it's it's kind of a bit mixed. Uh, you've got thicker parts in some areas, but then they're, they're too thin in others. Do you know what I mean? Like at the foot, and they come down too thin. So what we need to do is kind of try and understand uh, how the line work should be approached uh, when you get to it. So, but first, let's start off with some anatomy first, and I'm just going to draw over and show you how we can fix a few things here and there. Now, the first thing is um, his waist. He, he doesn't really have a waist, so we need to kind of make sure that there's... So that would come out about here. You know, he needs to have uh, some hips. He would have a bit of a bum out there, just a bit up to the hip. So let's just draw it. I like to draw it like as if he's wearing a, some undies. That's kind of how I like to, to draw characters, you know, if they're wearing briefs or something. And that's just kind of how I shape the, the hip when I do it. And then it just kind of helps. And then you'll have the leg come off, which you've got, which is fine. Uh, but the main issue is down near the feet here. And the knee as well. So you've got that crease there, which is okay. I like to draw knees like this first. I'll start with like a shape like that. And then you'll have that kind of nick off the side that basically means that's going to be the shadow part. You know what I mean? You need to have a bit of a muscle that goes down there and then dip out. So now when you do your line work, what I mean, like I was saying before, Darken it off a bit here because that's going to be really shadowed area. But as you go up, lighten it up a lot more. Nice and thin. Let's fade up a bit more so that I can show you the line work a bit better. There we go. So do you see what I mean? So I'm starting to go lighter because this part, you know, all the light is coming from up here. So you, you kind of got to treat your outlines as if they are adjusting to the light as well. So anything that's going to be in the darker parts is going to be a lot thicker, kind of like that. And yeah, the anatomy would be a bit more like this. You'll have a bit of a bump that comes around and then it kind of curls up here, kind of curls up and then it wraps around the knee part. So this is the knee that originally that bone kind of points straight forward at us. Yeah, but you basically have this muscle that comes up and then it kind of, kind of treats it like this. It goes up and then it goes around there like like a bit of a oval in that area there and you kind of have another one on the other side but not as it's a different kind of shape but basically you're going to have a big muscle right in the middle and that's what helps lift lift our leg up this is the main muscle that pulls our leg up but that's not going to be like that it's not going to be visible you basically have to chip away at all of this to it's nothing nearly and just keep hints of it just little hints like this see that like that bit there maybe just have a little tiny little stroke I'll even get rid of that bit there because otherwise it'll be too much i like to go a bit more like that and then have that kind of tuck up there and then when you get this bump on the leg that'll come up and then you actually have another muscle underneath the thigh, the thigh muscle that comes out to there so yeah, it's a, it's a bit rough, but that's about how it goes there. You'll then have your muscle come here. Draw your shin bone first, I reckon. So that's a, your shin bone's going kind of going to be like that. So let's just put it in for now. And then you're going to add the calves onto it. Now you're going to have a shape, the legs pointing downward, kind of tucking. So you'll have that kind of go down. You can you want thinner ankles, I reckon. I mean, even like here's, you know, they just kind of thin out through here. So do that kind of thing. Draw some uh, your ankles. And now the foot is uh, the wrong shape in yours. We kind of just want to have a foot. Like I like to do them, if I'm, if I'm looking at a bird's eye view of a foot, I like to do them kind of like this. This is just how I do them. And then that part is more, this one is almost straight down there, but you'll have this kind of shape on the other side there. And that's kind of how I'll do my feet like this. And your ankles will come out the side. So that's kind of what I'm aiming for in yours. In the back of the heel, you kind of want to see that up behind. Because it's, it's, it's kind of like tucked up behind. So that's kind of how you'll do that bit there. And then have the knee pop out. So you treat it kind of like the knee is coming from there, right? 
So the big bone is, is underneath all that muscle and then it finally points out into a knee like that, okay? Let's shade that off so you can see. Now when I get up to the torso, I kind of want to just, I'll just rough it in. But you'll have that rib cage kind of where you've got it, but just a little bit more, a little lower and a little bit more curved. So kind of like that, and then up. Uh, your chest is pretty right, so that's good. And then we'll go up. So what I like to do is actually do my chest, like just put that line in there and draw like, I, I like to do the chest like this, so like that. And then over the, that's the arc over the waist or the, the sorry, the rib cage then back up and then there like that and then almost straight across but you'll kind of dip them in the middle a little bit that's the collarbones and then down the middle so that's the kind of shape you know and then the shoulders kind of come off off that do you know what I mean and that's your biceps coming out there so that's that's the kind of shape I aim for when I'm drawing a chest okay I just wanted to point that out a little bit um, so that's the kind of shape you'll aim for and yeah just chip away at stuff don't make it look so prominent so like I said here um, basically that kind of arcs over the ribs which you kind of you've pretty much got that's good but what I meant was um, just this part here wasn't visible where the shoulder joins so try and join it so it's like like I had it so it's like that and then up and over um, but you basically, you need to have a bicep here showing and then it needs to have that flex in there. I'll just get rid of all this. You need to have the tricep underneath that comes down into the elbow. Now when doing forearms, um, a good thing to do is try and draw it like this first. So do a tube like that or it's just they're parallel, okay? But then throw some muscles off the lower half that join up to the bicep so that's like the wrist and that you can even do a little curve on the other side and then erase these parts that's a really good way to kind of um, make your forearms look good and it's a pretty good job on that hand too i think it just needs to be a bit more re uh, just refined so do you see yours yours is good um i think it just they're a little too pointy on their knuckles a little too pointy and stuff like that so if we just had them refined and a little bit more uh, rounded maybe you'll have a nicer looking kind of like that and then draw your knuckles you can still do a little kind of pointy knuckles but then I like to round them off more and more as they get softer to the little the little finger the little pinky finger one is usually pretty rounded off um, this one is a really that's the pointiest one the middle finger that's usually the one that shows a lot of tension when you clench a fist so I'm just going to round that one off. So I like to make sure that the middle finger is the more prominent one. And yeah, when you get to them fingers, just round them off a little bit more. Just still quite pointy, but just a little bit more, you know, so they're not so edgy. So you can kind of see what I did with the body here and the torso. Um, what I've done is basically done it like this. So you've got your middle torso where the abs would be. And then, you know, basically you've got your torso that will kind of wrap over it. We'll kind of wrap over and then it comes out. That's the lats, you know, and that's the rib cage. So it's like something that's kind of wrapping over a tube, you could think. So if that was some kind of tube and then something's kind of wrapping over it and then the tube comes out, that's kind of how I like to treat the this area here, okay? And then you have your abs kind of bounce in and down kind of thing out of that. Kind of like that, you know, and then you can bounce it up through the middle if you want. So as you do the finer details, don't make them too too heavy. Like, you, you haven't. I'm just saying, when we get to them, I don't like to make sure the ab muscles are too detailed and things like that. So you actually have top abs here. So that's the top six-pack ab right there. Comes off the top of the rib cage. And then with the gauntlet, I think... Um, and I think just the way the gauntlet's drawn um, needs, needs to be a bit better, a bit more refined. So um, that'd be something to kind of focus on. So a few more edges, like where the palm is, come up and then we'll just do like knuckles. So I, I like to draw maybe just a big straight line first, have that knuckle bit come out where the thumb will go. And draw, draw in some details a little bit, like even if it's just a glove gauntlet and not a metal one, 
um, have a few little nicks and things like that. So again, down for the wrist and then show like a, a muscle that comes out and then you can have that big gauntlet uh, detail that comes around, you know, do that kind of thing, however it is, have them still there. But the knuckles, like, actually refine it a bit. So there we go. So now it's kind of like an actual, um, you know, a, the detail that you kind of want to make that, just, just to make that gauntlet look a bit better and probably just a little bit thicker on the neck, I'd say. Just a little bit thicker. But there we go. Um, it's just, yeah, again, it's just an anatomy thing, really. Um, so, so I'll just do a quick before and after for you just to show you um, so it's just with the feet and things like that. So, so this is your original and then um, it's more about just refining and, and trying to get that anatomy just correct. Just get that in there a little bit more. Just some edges and defining and things like that. So this, for instance, this leg here, things like that. So you can see it just needs, we just need to be able to see the ankles and the, and the back heel. And Oh, well, you've got the heel, but just the shapes and things like that could be um, achieved a little bit better. There's, but you're doing really well and you're going the right way. So keep up with it. Don't ever give up because I think this is you're doing a great job. Good drawing. And um, here with this arm here as well, see that bicep isn't there. So if we just had that in and it's kind of like you can actually see the bulge of that bicep flexing um, and then the tricep underneath and that's that's a bit better there now. So we can actually, um, yeah, I think that's that's good. Your artwork is good. You really need to um, stick at it and just keep going. I love it. Good work, Jason. I love your work. So, uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing some more. Thank you. Next up, we've got Lily. And she's done this Predator in a, like a retro 80s hip-hop kind of look, which is really cool. I love this kind of uh, mashup. That, that's awesome. Um, nice perspective, too. You've got a cool pose going on. He's kind of like stepping or kneeling on the boom box um and there's a lot of detail in that boom box too so good work on all that yeah so this is some really nice digital art i can see these hands are looking really good um so good job on that look at the predators like uh claws and things that's pretty crazy and he's even got rings on so yeah that's cool nice nice idea for this this is cool um all right so let's get into your critique a bit I think the main thing is I just I would like to see it kind of pop out a little bit more a bit more um what would you call it uh like dimension you know so make it kind of it, it just comes across a little flat at the moment it's not too flat it's still like you've got this nice like fade in the back um in the brick walls and things like it's not not completely flat or anything it's just um I'd like to see a bit more dimension so I've just got the dodge tool I'm just using it over his helmet just to make it like give it that shine and I'm just doing a quick fade and like I'm lighting up lightening up that back wall like really light it up you know making pop more so, so it gets rid of that kind of flattish kind of feeling. So I'm really lighting it up as if there's kind of like a spotlight or something on him or in the back. And I think that'll really help too. All right. So I, I've just done these adjustments and I'll just show you. So that's your original. Um, do you see what I mean? So it's just looking a little flatter. So when you when I just went over it with some uh, dodge tool and the, the it's playing with highlights and things like that, um, it just helps. So this is literally just the dodge tool set at mid tones or highlights, and I'm just going over parts in the middle where I think the light would hit most, and then I'm I actually darkened a little bit down there with the burn tool just to darken and make the the helmet kind of give it more dimension you know make it feel like it's got form and it's it, the light hits it differently so that's that's that kind of thing i even darkened the necklace a bit around the edge see it was too flat and silhouette uh, not silhouetted it's too flat and uh too bright as well the color so i just kind of made it more natural and it's still like nice and bright down the middle there um and then the backdrop i lit it up as if there was a spotlight behind him to really give it a bit of more of a, an oomph um you should put some like graffiti on the back and that that'd be cool if you had graffiti on the walls and stuff that'd be awesome um 
and the boombox just a little bit more of a shine on it to give it that metallic kind of look or, or something and I even lit up the floor so the floor was um, just a dark uh, just a plain darker color so I just kind of lit it up as if it's also got the spotlight effect on it and he's got shadows over this way so yeah and I even on the clothing um, I wanted to see a bit more depth in that so and dimension so I've lit lit up the leg where it would light up a bit more when the light hits it so it's a bit flat there and a bit too dark and dim um, our last thing that the last thing I want to do and this is really gonna just top it off for you uh, so do that edge lighting that's that's really good I love edge lighting so I'm gonna get a nice warmy warm kind of tone hang on a minute um, maybe like I might even put it down into a bit of an orange, orangey warmy tone. Uh, I'll set it to the color mode screen and then I'm going to go through and just lighten up those edges. Now it may look dramatic at first and it's pretty intense, but it's on its own layer. So I can just, I can take it off. I can adjust it how I feel. So just, I'm just going to go through and I'm going to do this and I'll just show you what it looks like afterwards. Okay, there we go. So uh, that's the edge lighting um, around him. So if I take that off, that's just what it was before I just did that edge lighting. Still has all those effects I did, the, the dodge tool and stuff. But um, yeah, that's the edge lighting there. So that's that one. Uh, now let's just have a look before and after. So that's before we started. Um, and then now. So just by adding those extra effects it can really just top it off, you know. And you, you, your, this is a cool piece. I love this idea. I think it's so fun. <laughs> so it's the predator like this. So um, I, I hope you uh, have a go at it and see if you can, um, yeah, add add some extra effects. I hope this helps. Like, and and try and apply this to all of your work, and you'll really just improve heaps. Like you'll just be. I love seeing you your work um, ever since you started. So this is a good work. good job, Lily. I think it's great. And uh, yeah, so I hope that helps. Um, and I can't wait to see more. Thanks so much. Okay, next up we've got Eric. And you've done this Monsters Inc. piece here, which is really cool. Looks like you've, uh, you've, you've taken it to, you know, you've got your own take on it. And um, yeah, cool in your style. I think that's good. Now, if we want to dive into the critique a bit, I reckon um, I would love to see this cleaned up a bit because I like your kind of cartoony style that you've got going on. His face is cool and stuff. And um, I'd really like to see, let me just show you, I'll, I'll lighten up. I'd really love to see some cleaner lines on your stuff. I'm not quite sure what kind of software you use or how you create your work. I think it, it looks like Procre uh, Procreate maybe. But um, yeah, I, I think that if you can just get a pen in there, that they've got a lot of nice pens. And... Um, if you just found a nice clean brush uh, and went over it, even if you had your rough sketch first, I mean, that's what we all do. We have our rough. And then if you go over the top again with a nice cleaner ink pen, um, I think it'll really make your, your work look awesome. So um, just start going through and, you know, just, just making it nice and tidy. Okay, uh, so I just want to show you, um, I've just done some inks on it, uh, just to, cl I cleaned up the lines basically. This is your rendering underneath everything, so I just wanted to try and show you the difference. So, if you, yeah, if you clean up your lines, um, I mean, you can have it look like something like that, you know, you can, if you just start playing around with some sharp, uh, sharper lines and get that line weighed in, um, yeah, I think it'll really help you a lot. And it will definitely just, it will take away that rough look, you know, that rough kind of edge, the rough pencil kind of look, you know, that jet, the, see how it's kind of all roughed out. It's, it'll just come across more appealing and nicer. Yeah, let's just see if we can get some of that nice 
clean line work in. I think that'd be really cool in your style. So, um, yeah, I hope that helps. And I'd also probably lighten up these colors. So, so you, you, what I mean is, you know, I've lightened up the outline. So it's, they're black there, but I've lightened them up to like a nice kind of medium or a dark blue of that nice aqua blue kind of color. So softens out the character, gives them a more, a more um, cartoony kind of pixar -y look, you know, like Pixar. And um, yeah, I just think that's a, that'd be a nice approach to your stuff. So just thought I'd check that out. Now, um, yeah, I think you've got your own thing going on. Your nice, your own style, and um, just run with it. Oh, I like how you've done like buzz inside his detailing and stuff like that. Um, yeah, if this was cleaned up, I think it'd look like heaps better as well. So, uh, yeah, I reckon that would that that'll be it. And um, so just play around with some nice line work and things like that, and you'll be fine. And try and, um, yeah, I like the brushed kind of look you've got going on with your rendering. So, you know, if you do what you feel is for you and what fits your style and you'll be fine. And I think keep going with that. I think that's great. So you're doing a nice kind of uh, feathered rendering kind of brushed look there. And I kind of, I, I like these little streaks too. See these white streaks you got to, like the highlighted ones, stuff like that. Just keep going with that. But I think that your work just needs uh, cleaner lines and that that's it really and then you'll be okay um yeah all right then thanks for that uh eric i think that's great so keep it up okay last of the critiques we've got abby and uh check it out abby's done the avengers cover so this is an old old comic cover um number 57 i think she mentioned yeah and it's got vision and and all the avengers down there so um and obviously these are the old kind of comic classic uh, characters in their suits and outfits and she's done them in the MCU kind of version so they're all you know in their what they look like in the movies and things like Vision's whole new suit like look at the comparison so that's really cool I like that idea that's definitely a good revamp a good idea so let's get into the critique a bit um, yeah I think this is great especially trying to match you know trying to match this whole thing here so I think it's amazing that you've done a whole scene too. Like you've done the, literally the entire cover. You've put a lot of work into this. You've got multiple characters. So yeah, well done. I, I think that's great. Um, that's a nice looking hand too. You've done a good job of that hand and everything. So um, I think that for a revamp, um, which is good, like this is the old classic and they've got that kind of retro. They use all the heavy dark shading, like pure black and things like that. Um, I think for a revamp, you you wouldn't you don't really need to follow exactly that. See, because your style is nice, you've got this nice modern looking style. So, what I mean is, you don't this black sky. You probably don't need to even do that. So, if you for a revamp, I'd be happy to see that. I think it'd be nicer if it was just a nice sky color. You know, go with like a nice blue for a sky or something. Um, I'd probably yeah like that. Keep it like a flat color. I think that'd just look a lot nicer and for your image. So it's still the same scene. I just don't think that black is necessary because that's more of a retro thing. Like that's more of what they would used to do in the old covers. So I think that looks nicer without it. Uh, let's let's muck around with your your vision. Now, just when it comes to pose, I'll show you. Um, I think that he just needs to have a little bit more. Uh, if you just look at the other one, I'll show you. I think yours might just be a little bit too static. Uh, in the way of just just a bit too straight on so we'll pop that chest out a bit like this so really pop it out he's got that kind of heroic chest he's and it kind of looks like he's turned his head that way doesn't it in the in the picture so he's trying to turn his head a little bit we'll just turn make that head a little bit bigger on top there like that now i'm just using liquify to try and make a few adjustments here so that means this arm, we can probably have that come out a little bit more like this. So it's kind of the same as the other one. And I'd probably just have his head up a bit. So kind of like this, as if he's, and as if he's kind of like got his chin up, you know what I mean? Like he's kind of chin up looking down, yeah, like that. Um, and then I'll just make those eyebrows look a little bit more menacing. So I'm just going to, Try not to wreck your art too much. And the only other thing that I would do is I would put that hand up a bit more. 
like the other one. Just rise it up. Now the other thing is just uh, a little bit of anatomy. Um, so we can just do, have that shoulder, whoops. So you've got your, your chest, that's your collarbones there. They'll be about there. But you want to have your shoulder kind of pop off that collarbone out. We need to see that shoulder lifting up and over. So, because he's rising his arm up. So, uh, and then that bicep will come down around. So basically kind of just like something like that. You can even have a hint of that tricep underneath. Shoulder down, we probably need to see probably a little bit more of that shoulder there, up a bit higher, just a little bit higher. And over here, you've just got a little dent in there. I probably wouldn't worry about doing that little, that dent there, I think. So what we need to do is just, just um, you can just smooth that out. I would probably even just smooth that out. So that would be a bicep there. And just have a little bump, a bump here that comes into the wrist. So, so there you go. You, you kind of see what I mean. Um, if I just hide that. So you can see without, I'll just zoom in a bit for you. Um, so you can see there's no real shoulder there. I know it's kind of hiding under that armor. But that armor is actually on the neck muscle part. So basically you would have the shoulder that would be blue. Same as this one. See how the shoulder's all blue? So the shoulder all blue and then just have that gold kind of tuck in there like that. Yeah, that'll be that gold part. Same here. That's fine. You've got it right on that side. That's good. Um, but yeah, I think that's that's all right now. Um, so I'll just show you a quick before and after. So that's your before and that's after. So get rid of that black sky. I don't think we need that for your current version. It's a nice fresh new new take. Um, blue sky and then have him kind of popping his chest out a bit more. I've just moved him a little bit to just an in more interesting pose. So he's not so kind of stiff and he's just got a little bit more movement in his body. And he's risen, rises his arm up just like the other one. Um, that's good. Yeah, I think I think that would work. And again, with his head, you can kind of see what I've done. So um, he's got his chin up now, and he's looking down at him a little bit more intimidating, like. So, but same. That's still using your face. It's just yeah. And I like that kind of that nice style, that cartoony style thing you've got going on there. Um, yeah, and yeah, these are all well drawn. I think. Um, You'd probably just have to do the line weight on them. You see how their line lines are a little too thin, so if they had nice thicker thicker lines, um, basically to match, basically to match him. See, you've got these black outlines coming down. Here. Even his would probably need to be a little thicker to just hold it all together a bit better. But let's just say that Vision had outlines around him that are just that are a little thicker to hold it all together. Do the same kind of weight around them. It's okay that they're small, but it's on a comic cover. So basically, that's one other thing that they do. They, they match outlines on everything. It doesn't matter if they're smaller. It doesn't mean you have smaller lines on the outside. You still do the same weight on the, on the characters, even if they're small. So they'll still have quite bold outlines around them. So there we go. You see what I mean? So he's way more held together now. Um, so if that was just see this section here, um, so I'll hide that. So he's just getting a bit lost in the clouds, um, and he's not really that held together. So put some nice bolder outlines around all your characters, um, and that's and it would match. So same with Vision. If he just had a bit of a bolder outline around him, I think that would really look cool. You've done it around the hands. Perfect. These hands look great. And um, so if that just continued, that nice thicker to thin kind of look like that but I think um, that would really help so if that just continued see what you've done around the hands if that continued around the whole body it'd be fine so just around here you know if it was just on the shoulder just a little thicker because you still are you're doing much better those lines are looking really good you're getting some good line work going now just under the chin definitely under the chin there see that it's just a t bit too thin um, and we want to make sure his chin is nice and chiseled and popped out there you go. Um, especially, it doesn't have to be on the outside of the character that this is an edge. So you see his chest, that's an edge. So even though it's not on the outside of the character, it's still an edge that should be bolder so that his chest pops out off that arm, that back arm there. So do you know what I mean? So it's just kind of like that. Yeah. So just that's another thing that we need to keep in mind. See, so before it's just too thin, a bit too thin. 
and a little thicker would definitely help. So yeah, I think that's that's pretty. You've done a good job on that. I'm really really happy with that. Good on you, Abby. I think that's awesome. Uh, one more thing that I'd like to mention, probably just with this cape, I'd love to see that come up with that yellow. Where are we? This yellow here. I'd like to see that kind of showing like a rim of it. So just like that for the cape. But then I'd, I'd really like to see maybe some shadowing under the cape. This dark shade you've got there. See that shade? Let's put that underneath. So you can do a nice big one now. Underneath to show that that cape is behind him and it's quite dark underneath it. So, so yeah, even if it was just something like that, just to help pop. You can even have a few streaks to show that the cape is flowing. So just a couple of sh uh, streaks through, just like that. They don't have to be perfect or anything, just just to show that the cape is moving. But you've done a really nice job. It's nice to see you starting to do some shadowing now. You've got some a, a bit of rendering going on in your character, so that's good. It's nice to see you've even done a light, like an edge lighting on there as well, a bit of, bit of lighting. So you look on Black Panther here, that's cool. Look at that. Nice work on those. So you, yeah, you're doing really well, Abby. That's great. So I'll just show you another quick comparison just to help you. Um, so this was before we started and now. So just, just that movement and um, yeah, just that shadowing on the cape. I think that's just that extra bit there that gives it the, lifts him off a bit more. All right, that's that's it. That's it, Abby. Um, we've done, I've done all the critiques now. So yeah, there we go. Thank you so much, everyone, for submitting your art and um, taking part in this. I think it's, I think it's great. I, I really look forward to this every month. I love doing this. Um, so I'm planning on being a bit more interactive now. I want to start doing some uh, live streams. So I'd love to start introducing that soon. I need to put out some details soon on that. But it'll be through Discord to start with. And I'm basically going to just have a like a live stream going and we can all kind of communicate. I might check in on all you guys with your monthly projects and you can talk to me, see how you're going and we'll get some advice and just, I want to start being a bit more involved uh, and like, you know, we can all I, like help each other out and I can give you some, uh, some advice and things like that as we go. Basically, I just love to check in on you all and just see how it's all going. But I'll announce that properly soon. Um, I just need to organise it. I've just bought a webcam, so I'm, I'm all set for that. But I'll most, mostly I'll probably just be sharing my screen and I'll just be drawing as I talk to you guys. So I'll just work at the same time. I'm also going to be introducing this whole new uh, competition every month. We're going to do it every, every time now. So the, that way someone has a chance to slip into the critiques and uh, get a critique done and it could be anyone it could be anyone and I just think that'd be a lot of fun so I really I love doing all this so yeah thank, thanks again everyone I'm glad you all submitted and I hope you got a bit out of those critiques as well so I'm looking forward to the next one we're gonna do action poses for the next monthly project so uh, you're basically just gonna draw anything you want I just want to see a nice nice action pose like something really interesting I'm gonna be looking at pose choices and you know how dynamic it is um, everything like that and also you know the execution of the art like how well drawn it is in the line work and colors and things like that so I think it'll be a lot of fun action poses is one of my favorite things to do ever all right everyone that's it and um, I'll see you next time thanks a bunch